So now we have writing an equation of a circle given the end points of a diameter. So essentially what's happening here is that they're giving me two points. So maybe like this point and and this point or negative six six. So they might be giving me um I don't know, but they're going to give you two points on the diameter. So they'll be right across from each other. They'll either be here or maybe they'll be here right across from each other or over here right across from each other or here right across from each other, right? But the points are going to be across from one another so that they can create that diameter. I think in this case, um, negative two and negative six, I might be having a situation kind of like this one. Um, that's what I'm thinking on the graph. You could plot it on the graph and, you know, make sense of it. But I think it's like this kind of situation. Um, right? If I have negative 2 and 1, 2, 3, 4, that's over here. And then negative 3, 4, 5, 6, and positive 6, that's over here. And so then the center would be somewhere in between them, and then you would have the circle around it, right? So it is kind of like this situation over here where they're diagonal. Um, but I don't know what that center is. Now we do know how to find, like if you drew a line there and find the middle in between them, that's actually the midpoint formula. So the center is going to be found by using the midpoint formula. And the midpoint formula was to add the two x values together and divide by two. Add the two y values together and divide by two. So in this case, I get negative eight over two and two over two, which is negative four and one. So one, two, three, four, and one unit. So it's actually about right there on my graph. Kind of a good guess, but not quite right, right? Um, so that's going to be our center. So this is our center. We need that for the equation later, right? So that tells me that the equation is going to be x opposite, which is plus 4 squared, and then y opposite of positive 1 is negative 1 squared. I just need to know what the radius squared looks like so that I can give them the answer, okay? Now I don't know what that is. So I need to figure out what the radius is. Now I could figure out this side, that distance, or I could figure out this distance. Either one of them, it's gonna be the same answer, okay? So you just have to pick which ones you want. Now for me, I'm going to actually pick um, the first point, negative two, negative four, this point here, which is actually the one down there. And I'm going to use the center. You have to use the center in order to figure out the radius. So when I do this um, distance formula, I'm going to do the square root of the x value minus that x value plus the y value minus that y value. And this becomes plus 4, so it becomes 2 squared. That's negative 5 squared, which gives me 4 plus 25, which gives me square root of 29. So R is the square root of 29. Now if I want to know what R squared is, I have to square that. And when I do, I just get 29. So that's the number that goes here. And that is the equation to the graph. Okay. So we need to, it helps to just do another one of these because there's a lot going on, right? So it helps if we do another one. So if these are the endpoints, the first thing I need to find is the center. I have to have that center because you can't get the radius unless you have the center and then another endpoint. And it doesn't matter which of these two you take as far as that other endpoint is concerned. But I do need to have that center first. So the center is going to be the midpoint between the two endpoints. So that is the x values added together over two the y values added together over 2. So I get negative 2 over 2, 9 over 2. You could say negative 1 and 4.5 if you want to. You could use decimals, you could use fractions, it doesn't matter. Um, 
if the computer likes the fractions, then keep that as 9 over 2. And I think it does. So we'll just keep it as a fraction, 9 over 2. So then now, to find the radius, we're going to use this point and one of these. Okay, it doesn't matter which one. I'm going to use this one because it doesn't have any negatives in it. Just how my brain works. So let's go ahead and subtract the x values. So 2 take away a negative 1. And then 6 take away a 9 halves. And so then we get, um, that's actually plus. So we get 3 squared plus, let's see about this. 6 take away 9 over 2 is 3 over 2 squared. And then if I square both of them, I get 9 plus 9 over 2. What is 9 plus 9? Not 9 over 2. 3 squared is 9, and 2 squared is 4. So 9 over 4. I get the square root of 45 over 4. But remember, you need to know what the radius squared is. So I do have to square that square root of 45 over 4, which means I just get 45 over 4. So then what is the equation? It's going to be x minus the x coordinate of your center. So that's going to actually turn into plus a 1 squared. And then y in the opposite sign is negative 9 halves squared equal to your radius squared which is 45 over 4. And this is the equation that they want. I just wanted to have an example that had fractions in it because it may come out that you have a problem with fractions and at least you won't be freaking out thinking you did something wrong because you have a fraction and the one I did didn't have a fraction, right? It can have a fraction and it's okay. You just work with what you've got and keep going.